is I, True Self, and we are back with another episode of episodes. So, last chapter, we just met Kanji and got into their fights, and that was more or less it. However, we still have the information from chapter two, which seems to have planted at least some sort of flag. So I expect for some good stuff to be coming up soon. May not be happening instantly, but I do see it coming soon. And I'm curious to see because as we're going through, we're meeting more people. And the fact is, it's Persona 4 Arena, but guess what? It doesn't just include Persona 4 characters like we've seen, which means uh, we don't really know. It could be any of the characters from Persona 3 or 4 are in the fighting game that are on here that are available. And there's a number of them, even with a base release. And being able to see all of them, or not knowing who we're going to see next, is actually a pretty nice, I'll have to admit. So, with that, I've talked enough, so let's get back into the gameplay. Yeah, if not for our personas, they probably would have defeated us in the blink of an eye. Come to think of it, we still don't know what this place is or why we can use our personas here. Huh? Yeah, I guess you're right. But man, the real shame here is that I wasn't able to snuggle that cat. <laughs> Forget about the cat already! <laughs> Have you not noticed that we're constantly being assaulted? At least pretend to be worried. I guess, but we're used to finding ourselves in unusual places. It's not that big a deal. I mean, you're not wrong, but still. The bigger issue is why we're fighting cats in the first place. That's what we were trying to figure out. Catch up, man. Well, it might sound irresponsible, but since we're all here, I feel like things might just work out. Ugh, you just don't have a care in the world. But honestly, it's kind of nice that we're all together like this. Even if Kanji is useless for coming up with a plan. <laughs> That's true. If Naoto were here, things would be completely different. I'm sure we'll find her towards the end. She's over there. What? Wait, where? Really? Just ahead. Take a look. I see her! With... Huh? Oh. Two girls. Or in the... One tiny one and another in an ornate dress. Oh, oh, it seems oh. like they're talking. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hmm. Or in the... All right. All right. So, actually, let me think about it. Last fight didn't really have any place that we could consider as a placement, but this fight, considering after Slinde and Ori, I'm guessing it's probably, watch it. I'm guessing it's probably before uh, the church in chapter six. And then, and that's also before Ragnar met up with Linde and Hyde and Noel in chapter seven. What's going to happen? I'm not sure, but you should be, I guess, more information because Linda at least knows some stuff. Uh, sounds like a fight waiting to happen. Calm down. Now it tells alone, and the rules require a two person tag team. They're not going to attack her. Oh, that's right. Hmm. Huh. But if we head over there, we'll be partnered up and. Yeah. Wait, who's missing? Yo, Nato! What are you doing all on your own like that? Be careful. Look who's talking. Wait, Kanji, if you get too close to Naoto. <sighs> Let's go. I'm sorry, but I don't have this keystone you're talking about. <sighs> However, it's possible that I could help you find it. Could you tell me more? Hmm. Doesn't huh. seem like she knows anything. Talking to her is a waste of time. Hey. You don't have to be so rude. Hey, Naoto. Huh? Tatsumi-kun, why are you here? Oof. Don't worry about that. Are you okay? 
I... I am. I just didn't expect that you would be here, Tatsumi-kun. You caught me just as I was asking these people for information. Naoto! Naoto! Idiots! How many of you are here? And it's good to see you, Narokami-senpai. I'm glad you're safe, Naoto. Likewise. Huh. Is this all of us? Interesting. Oh, huh? You seem awfully collected, Detective Prince. This is everybody we found, so far. I see. For my part, I suddenly found myself in this place and started to explore. That's how I found myself here. You're the first familiar faces I've seen. Huh. Wait, do you mean you ran into people you didn't know? Did they attack you or anything? No, I didn't run into any issues. I did discover that this is not the TV world, though. Smart. Some of the scenery was familiar, but other parts were unlike anything I've ever seen. There are no shadows here, nor can I hear anyone's voice. However, I can use my persona, and I do have my weapon. In other words, I'm ready for battle. Yes. Wow, you basically reasoned everything out. Hardly. There's still a lot I don't know. Senpai, have you heard of something called a keystone? I have one. I was holding it when I first arrived. We were told that we can't get out of here without it. Yeah. I see. Nothing's so it's necessary help. to escape. Hmm. So that's a keystone. It's much more portable than I expected. So, who are these people? So, well, we still, there's still also issue of fact that some portions don't seem linearly connected. Though, if we were to consume linearity between all of the uh, different episodes, that would mean that this has to be. Actually, no, this would match up if this chapter five is around the same time as other chapter five, because this would be when. Because chapter six uh, is when Ragna meets Hazma and then meets uh, Ori and Weiss in the church. Bam, they knew what a keystone was. They also had the picture, so that makes sense. And chapter seven, by that time, Linne has already found Naoto. Uh, well, her Naoto. So, our, well, I believe she found her Naoto, but I know she found her Hyde for sure. Uh, she found Hyde, and those two were together with their Keystone. And that should be interesting. We'll find out more. We know more for sure when we actually get to the Night Ember storyline. But until then, we're just going to be continuing on with this. And let's see if they give off any more information with their reactions. They were looking for the Keystone. In other words, they're trying to escape this place just like us. That's right. Huh? Well, hold up. I know how this story usually ends. This worked out quite nicely. I'll have you hand over that Keystone now. Ain't happening. <gasps> oh, I knew it! Please wait. You don't intend on taking it by force, do you? She it all does. depends on them. I don't think I'd kill any of them, at least. What's going on here? Are they seriously trying to rob us of the Keystone? Yes, they are. That's what I want to know. Why does everyone we run into always end up fighting us? They're every bit as much victims of this world as we are. There is no need for violence. You understand, don't you, Princess of the Nightblade? <sighs> You're always such a goody two-shoes. You think we'll find a compromise in this situation? Ridiculous. Man, if Ridiculous all... though it may be, what's wrong is wrong. Wrong, 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 absolutely wrong. Gosh, she's so childish. I really need to play the Iron Knight in Birth games because it's 
Their story must be really amusing. This is why I can't stand your absurd obsession with justice. Justice. Fine. For now, we're allies. We'll settle this later. If we get back alive, that is. Wait a minute. It's not about getting in a fight later. It's about not fighting at all. Hey! <laughs> but aren't the two of them fighting? What should we do? Should we duck out while we have the chance? Yeah. Doesn't seem like that obnoxious you-know-what is gonna show up either. You know what? Oh, he's probably referring to me. Yeah, that's right. That thing with the irritating voice and... <sighs> yep. Come on, seriously? How is your timing this good? What? You thought I would hear you? Well, you thought wrong. I'm practically clairvoyant. It's like the voice is in our heads. Could it be a support type persona user? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh my, Naoto's been so smart up to this point. Well, I, I guess even if it's Naoto, she can't r rationale something that she just hasn't experienced. So it probably would be better, easier for her just to say, if it doesn't make sense, it's due to Persona. Yes! It is the power of our enemy stands. Unfortunately, Naoto, it, it's something much more irrational. I think it's the power of Azure, but it's, well, it's not power of Azure. I didn't know that much for sure, but something similar. Blaze Blue, you guys are crazy. I love it. Uh, whatever it is, it's probably not a good thing that they have a direct line to our brain. Oh, who cares about little old me? Now, how about that tag battle? In the end, it all comes down to this. Good. Hey, moderator, hurry up and start the fight. Maybe that'll shut Orie up. Hey, why do you keep... Ask and ye shall receive. Ten seconds until the bell. If entrants are not decided by then, it will count as a forfeit, and the losers will be subject to a truly embarrassing punishment, as per our new rule. Wait, 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 what? Wait, wait what rule? Totally just made Wait, it's what rule? Fair. Guess we're doing this. Come on, Yosuke. I don't know. Me? All right. Let him have it, Hanamura. Mm. Damn it, fine. Watch my back, partner. Mm. Okay. All right. I have all DLC, so I I have all DLC. I have the deluxe edition. Like, Get ready. I got this game. So I probably forgot about it, but Get I'm guessing ready. Kanji must have been one of the DLC packs, which would explain why we couldn't fight with him. But I'm pretty sure we had more than five starting out. Can't escape from crossing so fate. See. Fight! We're just gonna Yeah, and now we can go really aggressive really. Now we're gonna want to Hit that. And wow, we're almost on. Wait. I me over here acting like you know, I'm doing Alright. Goodbye. Don't like that. Oh wait. No. Yeah, her uh, her mix up are actually pretty crazy. Okay. Oh no, no. Goodbye. <gasps> Too slow. Too fast, you mean? <laughs> Classic. It seems they've outfoxed us. We have to retreat, Princess of the Nightblade. Aww. Damn. I underestimated them. Indeed, you did. Looks like we beat them. 
Jeez. Did not think those two girls would be so strong. I'm sorry I acted so rashly. It was a mistake to bring up the Keystone so casually. I didn't expect that they would attack. No one did. It's fine. Nobody's hurt or anything. Oh, right. Now, yeah. Kun, you're not up to speed yet, are you? Hanamura, explain. Right. So basically, wait, since when am I the designated thing explainer? You are now. All right. And with that. Oh, so you were trying to get information, too. At least from those willing to talk. I just ran from anyone who tried to attack me. Okay. So. Of course, Naoto wouldn't know about the tag team rule because she hasn't been with people. With enough people for that to count. Yeah, it's fortunate. That's fortunate, at least. I guess my instincts were wrong about those two, though. Ah, uh, don't blame yourself. It's not like they came at you with their weapons ready or anything. Yeah, I agree with Kanji. Naoto. In fact, if it was just up to Ori, it would have been fine. But... Lene doesn't nearly have similar reservations. No, no, no. She's much more aggressive. And that's true. But I made the mistake of dropping my guard to get more information. I swear, if Kanji hadn't gone berserk, maybe you could have gotten something out of him. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> I don't mind. I doubt I would have gotten any useful information even if Tatsumi-kun hadn't appeared. Yeah. Anyway, I tried asking earlier, but is this everybody that has been brought here from our world? Currently. Ati. I think so. Nobody's seen so much as a trace of Teddy or Rise. Well, in our circle of friends at least. Yeah. Well, Teddy was... Teddy came over in a very late DLC, much more recent one, and Rise still isn't in this game yet if she is coming so uh, elizabeth is dlc yeah i think actually yeah i think the rest of i think these are that for four characters to start in this game actually, I, think, I think it might have been these five but i'm not sure but so why us? Did they pick us for a reason? We might see some Persona 3 characters soon. Eh, eh. I mean, that would be fun. We might be playing with Swarm of Suru. Just doing the wall jumps like crazy. But I guess we're good. Yes, yeah, so Persona 4 Arena, they should actually know about them. So that would be fun to see. It's not a matter of location. Narakami kun is here after all. Ooh, maybe we're chosen descendants of heroic bloodlines. Can you take this seriously? Hold on. I think I might know. Teddy kun and Kujikawa san are both capable navigators. Maybe whatever brought us here wanted to keep us in the dark. Huh? So what? It wants to split us all up or something? No, it's more that it wants to keep us from evading our enemies. What do you mean? Why would it want that? Ooh, now toe. You're right on it, man. To think you would figure out something that, well, wasn't even stated at all or theorized in the original Blaze episode but was revealed at the end that she does want it to fuel the crystals. The humans in this world, well, humans might not quite be an accurate term. Every one of them knew that someone in our group had a key item, so to speak. You've been getting in fights ever since you arrived here, correct? Oh, yeah. One after another with no time to rest. But 
If Teddy-kun or Kujikawa-san were here, you likely would have been able to avoid some of those battles. Yeah, possibly. I don't know where the designated goal is. But those two would have made getting there a lot easier. Which would mean... Whoever brought us here is deliberately making us hold the key item and enabling these battles with everyone we meet. Good job, Yosuke. Which I'm starting to get a little sick of, honestly. Exactly. Someone out there has something to gain from all this fighting. Yeah, unfortunately, Yosuke, we still have another five chapters. So... It's not get ending anytime soon. And while this is just a theory, I think that the voice we heard earlier is controlling people here to some extent. At least through the rules it has established. Yeah, yeah. that voice is the one who keeps starting all the tag battles, too. Only one who can. It's probably designed to encourage the people in this world to fight each other. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. That would mean that the voice is the one behind all of this, right? That, or the voice is simply an emissary. Either way, it's likely that holding on to the keystone and continuing to fight will eventually achieve the mastermind's objective. Yeah. But, to be optimistic, perhaps the realization of that objective will allow us to be released. Correct. You kidding? Whatever this punk's after can't be good. We can't just play along. Wrong. I feel the same way. I don't like this place. It feels as though our memories have been projected onto something abnormal. Seemingly. Yeah, it's pretty creepy. Especially the way it mixes in places we're familiar with. If the Mastermind knows everything about us and is arranging all of these fights, should we really keep moving forward? Don't really have much choice. I don't know. Moving forward seems to be our only option. Oh, it's frustrating to know that we're doing what the Mastermind wants us to do. But I think it's the only way for us to approach the truth. Agreed. Returning to our world is important, but that's not our only concern. Yeah, I don't know what they're up to, but if it's something bad, we'll, we'll crush stop. them. We'll beat them up. <laughs> you ever think we're a little too used to these crazy situations? No such thing. But we've got no other choice. We can't just leave the culprit be, can we? <laughs> no, we can't. But we have to be cautious. If there's any way we can avoid combat, we should. Yeah. Come on, everyone. And I believe that should be the end of chapter five. Yep. We're back here again? Seriously? At least those right. guys we met here are gone. All right. So that was chapter five. And they basically went over... I'm not sure what I call it, a refresher course or just a rundown of a lot of the general basics that we learned by the end of the Blaze Blue. There's some specific content that isn't in there, of course, but it makes me think that each episode is meant to be played separately, which makes sense since you can start any episode in any order. So that's kind of cool for making sure that everyone plays episodes gets like all the information even if you only play one episode it was also kind of annoying just because well as you can see it's a lot of the same but certainly it was interesting we got Naoto and the Persona crew just keeps growing so I'm interested to see exactly uh, who else we meet possibly meet some for some of three people and we'll be finding out about all that in the next episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you like it, be sure to watch more.